welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna do a perfume collection. I do this video every year about like you know in the beginning of the year I know it's February but um, it's pretty much the beginning of the new year so um, I always try to kind of update my collection a little bit and you know um, used up some perfumes that I was hoping to use up during the past year and I did use up quite a few of them and I added a few of them to my collection so I thought I'm gonna share with you but before I do it I want to just uh, talk about my brooch because I got so many uh, questions from you guys. I decided to wear it today and I decided to address this uh, issue here. Uh, so uh, this is the brooch so many of you asked again and uh, this is the Chanel brooch and this is the woven one. I don't know if you guys will be able to, um, to tell but this is like a kind of... Um, I would say champagne kind of hardware and it has the leather kind of woven leather through so it looks a little bit like the Chanel uh, you know chain like the handbags that you know they put the leather through so thank you so much I got a lot of comments a couple of videos ago and unfortunately I don't really wear this a lot but since you guys commented so much I was like hmm Maybe I should wear it again. <laughs> I don't want to overdo it, but I thought it would be appropriate because I have my perfumes. Oh my goodness, it's so heavy, you guys. On this beautiful <laughs> Chanel tray. And I put this little camellia flower right there just to make it a little bit more festive. <laughs> so I have them all here. I will try to, you know, show you one by one and talk a little bit about my collection. I think I'm gonna start with Chanel perfume. So, all right, let's do it. The very first one I have, this is the Chanel number five. This is the iconic, you know, typical, <laughs> very famous Chanel number five. This is the original one. And I have in this huge bottle, this is 100 ml. As you can see, I didn't use a lot. I think I have it for about two years now. So I better use this, uh, otherwise it might go bad, but you know um, it's beautiful i mean it's iconic scent but i don't reach it on a regular basis because i feel like it's maybe too kind of i don't know maybe too strong sometimes but i do like the scent very much the one that i used up a little bit more is the chanel 5 old premiere so this is like a slightly lighter version of little twist you know on the iconic Chanel 5 uh, so I used a little bit more of this so if I if I try to use one of them I usually will, will go you know for this one because it's a little bit lighter sometimes I will mix them both together uh, but I do love them and I do believe that every single woman after the age of 30 <laughs> should have you know one of the Chanel 5 in their collection because I think they're just gorgeous the one that I probably love the most is the Coco Mademoiselle and as you can see I use nearly half of it and I'm sure you guys are all familiar with the Coco Mademoiselle. This is just, oh, this is so... I think I'll just recognize if someone is wearing this, I'll recognize it everywhere. This is just so iconic and I love it. I think it smells gorgeous. It's it's perfect this is actually uh, my second bottle the very first one I got when I was in college and they uh, the, the I, I went to college in New Jersey and we had a big grand opening of Bloomingdale stores over there and I decided to go one day and all I did I went to the Chanel counter and I bought a nail polish um, there was like this beautiful kind of copper finish uh, nail polish and the lady told me like okay you can fill it up the form and we have this huge basket of Chanel cosmetics to win and I'm thinking to myself yeah right I've never won anything in my life and the next thing I know a few days later she's giving me a phone call that I won the whole basket worth of I don't know five six hundred dollars of cosmetics and I could not believe it I just drove there the next day I picked up my prize and Coco, Coco Mademoiselle was one of the perfumes that was in that basket of course it was different bottle and I remember I treasure <laughs> this perfume it was like I would wear it only for a special occasion because as a student you know I couldn't afford but having 
you know that in my possession it was just amazing and I got bunch bunch of stuff and bunch of makeup and there was also a men's perfume I remember giving it to my father it was just such an amazing price so the Coco Mademoiselle always brings the memory of winning that Chanel basket and that was the only one thing I ever won in my life I guess <laughs> so anyway uh, all right the next one I purchased this is the Gabrielle I'm not too crazy about this you guys as you can see I used up uh, a little bit but this is a huge this is a hundred mil butter again oh uh, I don't know I'm just not too you know too thrilled about this but it is nice perfume but I think it's better for like a summer kind of spring uh, situation because it's a little citrusy a little bit fruity so I think it's definitely a summer scent and uh, I'll probably just use it you know because I have it but uh, most likely I will not be ever repurchasing this I just I'm just not too thrilled about it but it's okay <laughs> all right the next one you guys is the little bottle I think this is only a th oh, this is 35 mil so this is the little baby of um, this is the one of the newer one also Chanel 5 and this is the Lou Lo, I don't know how do you really pronounce that I've got this um, this past Christmas that's one of the gifts and you guys if you saw this video I'm sure you saw me like commenting and talking about this a lot how much I love it I do love the scents I'm completely obsessed the problem is it doesn't stay on me <laughs> I was so disappointed once I wore it I mean it, it it smells gorgeous it's such a fresh refreshing light scent but for some reason it does not stay on me so it's tiny bottle so I'll, I'll use it <laughs> I'll probably I, I won't buy it myself definitely so but it was a gift so it was nice okay the next perfume that I have a very sentimental value is the Dune by Christian Dior and the reason I have uh, also brings a lot of memories is because I when I was a student uh, I saved a lot of money to buy this perfume and I remember I was so proud of myself I splurged I bought the Dune and I remember I got so many compliments from people you know whatever I was wearing that perfume so when I ran out of it <laughs> I've decided to go ahead and you know buy another one so I have this one for about two years now and you know after I finished the very first the student bottle I didn't purchase for quite a few years and once I saw it in the store I said hmm I remember that scent maybe I should do it again so I think I got it two or three years ago this one so as you can see I have like half you know I'm half um, half done with this but this is really nice it is a strong uh, scent but oh my god it's really really beautiful if you if you haven't like smelled this go to the counter and really try to smell it because it's amazing perfume Okay, uh, let's talk about, okay, I have one of the Chanel that is a twist up. So this is like, um, this is a Coco Mademoiselle, by the way, inside. Um, so this is like a little version that you can take in your handbags or you can just uh, use as a travel. Um, and I think the way, there we go. I used up a little bit, as you guys can see. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you just can you can just buy like a refills and you know just stick it in here. And I, I think it's great, you know, especially for the travel. So I usually take it with me. Let's continue with the Christian Dior since I show you one of the Dior perfumes. Um, this is the Miss Dior uh, perfume, and again, this is a big 100 ml bottle. And I got this one, I'm gonna say about three years ago. And as you can see, I have just a little bit left. It's a very nice scent. It's it's very pretty. I think this is the original Miss Dior. Uh, there's also like a blooming bouquet, which I don't have, which I would like to get. So I promised myself if I finish this bottle this year, I'm gonna buy myself a blooming bouquet because I think blooming bouquet smells amazing. But for Christmas, which was also on my wish list, I got the Absolutely Blooming, which is in the same um, same exact bottle. This is also 100 ml and it smells divine. It's a very floral kind of um, 
scent very strong very very strong and it smells i can't open it it smells really really nice you guys so yeah this is something i got uh it was like a beautiful set it came with the travel this Christmas with a little travel and I haven't used the travel one yet but it will be great you know you can just put it in your purse as well and I think it will be awesome so yeah so I got this and all right this is the end of my oh no one more one more Dior I'm sorry um this is the iconic J'adore which I loved I used it so much so much I used this J'adore so much last year. This was one of my favorite perfumes. So as you can see, it's like about half, <laughs> half down. I got it for Christmas 2016 from my husband. I really, really like this. And I never had one before. So this is my first ever J'adore and I love it. It's beautiful. Okay, let's talk about YSL. I have two YSL perfumes. Uh, one of them I love. And I, again, I'm nearly, it's more than half done. Um, and I love it. This is Mont Paris. Again, I got it last year for Christmas. It's beautiful. I love this. It's just, again, I, I guess I'm into like citrusy kind of flowery, you know, scents. Oh, if you haven't tried this one, this is definitely hands down one of my favorite perfumes. And I used it like crazy last year. That's why I went through almost like over more than half of a bottle. The one that I'm not too crazy about, but I did use because I'm just trying to use it up is the black opium. And this is a smaller bottle. I think this is, this is 30 ml only. And as you can see, I'm halfway through. I'm using it because I have it and I, you know, of course I'm not gonna throw it away, right? But it's not something that I would repurchase. Um, I think I got this also as a gift. Um, yeah, it's it's nice. It's nice, but it doesn't stay on my body. For some reason, we don't mix nicely <laughs> with my chemistry. So, uh, but I will obviously, you know, I will use this up. And <laughs> one more YSL. This is the original Alpium. You guys, I always show you this in the original bottle. I don't use this, okay? I have, as you can see, I have a little bit left and, oh gosh, I love that smell. It still smells good to be, believe it or not. This is probably like 10 years old. Like I said, I don't use it. I'm keeping this purely of, because of my sentimental, it has a sentimental value to me. My mom, who passed away nearly 10 years ago, she was a big fan of it and I remember her smelling like this, so, yeah, so that's the reason I really kind of keep it. And I like the original bottle. I think it's, you know, it looks beautiful and kind of brings a lot of memories. So I decided to, yeah, just to keep it and, you know, maybe I can smell it every once in a while. But they do, I think they still have the original scent just in the new kind of, you know, uh, packaging. So, yeah, I don't use this one. All right, I have two Hermes. Uh, the very first one is the, I don't know how to pronounce, but this is the one with um, with like an amber, amber kind of scent. M-E-R-V-E-I-L-L-E-S. Um, -E 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 Marvelous, Marvelous, I, I don't know. Um, as you can see, I have like half left. This is very warm, cozy scent, which I like to use when it's cold outside. <laughs> It's one of those that you can just, you know, it's just, it feels like it's just going to warm up your um, entire body, even though it's, you know, it's of course it's not true, but it smells really nice, very sophisticated, but very warm at the same time. So kind of makes me feel cozy when I wear this. And then of course, the if you saw my January favorites, I changed my mind, you guys. I love this perfume now. <laughs> I'm completely hooked and obsessed. And I know I criticized this perfume in my um, what I've got for Christmas video, but that's it. Her Hermes Twilly. It's my, probably this is going to be the perfume of 2018. I absolutely love this and the packaging is just so cute. If you guys haven't seen it or smell it, like go run and smell it because it's really, really nice. I think it's just 
it's better when I wear it and kind of warms up, uh, you know, on my um, body throughout the day and it just smells better and better. Okay, two more. Uh, I have a set of the Louis Vuitton perfumes. Two of them, I already used it up completely. So I have just um, five left, which I'm slowly working on. Like, as you can see, this one is half done as well. I did the entire review uh, on these perfumes. So if you're interested, I'll link it down below. This is one of my old videos. I think these are great. I might be going for a full size one day. Who knows? <laughs> All right, and the very last one, you guys, I'm gonna show you. This is the random. Uh, this is the Calvin Klein Obsession. I don't know, I really don't use it anymore. I don't know why it's still on my tray, but it's it's on it. It's very strong. I should probably use it for like more casual days. I'm not too obsessed with the scent uh, anymore, but you know, it's obsession, so I should be I should be obsessed, but I guess I'm not. <laughs> but it is very nice perfume. I used to wear this also um, at the end of the college years. Uh, when I first started working, you know, this was the perfume, I was pretty much into it. So, but for some reason I'm kind of, yeah, halfway and I get stuck on that half. So maybe someday I'll use it up. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it. I'm gonna show you the tray now that it's empty. It has this beautiful Chanel logo. I, I know so many of you ask me about this tray where I purchased it. I really don't remember. I think it was one of the Etsy stores. It, it's been seven, eight years, I'm gonna say, since I have it. It does chip a little bit, as you can see, there is some wear on it, but other than that, it's wooden tray, so it's pretty heavy. Other than that, I think it's beautiful, and I really enjoy, you know, keeping my uh, perfume on it. I think it looks so beautiful. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!